of the black snake of separation from you. Please revive me with the medical leg that anoints your lotus feet. Verse 9 of Sri Vilapa Kushmanjali, Vashila mm. Raghunath Das Goswami. Mm. O oh Goddess, this person has died from the bites of the black snake of separation from you. Please revive me the medicinal leg that anoints your lotus feet. O oh goddess, this person has no, no. died. No. The note. No. In the previous verse, Sripad attained the relish of Swamini's service. Now the vision has stopped and he feels the intense burning of love in separation. Just as someone quickly dies, when being bitten by a terrible black snake, mm -hmm. being scorched from tip to toe by the intense fire of the poison, Sri Raghunath feels like dying when he's burning in the poison of separation from Sri Radharani. You see, this is Radharani's hmm. This is a firm faith in Radha. The black snake here is not for Krishna because here is any between Radha, Krishna, not. Here is the black snake is a poison. Separation of you is the black snake. In my Siddha Deha, I am coming to my Sadhak Deha, that becomes black snake. Poison come inside me, that I come in bodily consciousness. You see, different mood. When you are with the Krishna mood, always you think for Krishna. Black snake is always mentioned for Krishna. Mm -hmm. And when it comes for Krishna, then Radhika is feeling. And when it comes for Radhika, the Manjiris are feeling the same thing. Why they prepared me with Radha and Krishna before? Why Krishna was important to feel the Radhikas? that how Krishna is like a black snake. When you will realize this, then you will realize the separation is like a black snake for the mandiris also. And mandiris also feel that I dying from my spiritual consciousness in my mandiri serve to come in my bodily consciousness. Now two things is there. One is the Radha is feeling separation and he sees a my, to me black snake poison me and I cannot live in Krishna's separation. One is this mood. Krishna is a black snake. I am so much in love with Krishna. Radhika is telling. And the Radhika is dying because of the bite of the black. This also works. But for the Manjiris, this not work. Then you have to see the Sakhi, this will work. Because they feel also separation from the Krishna. But Manjari, only Radhika is looking. They don't look out of the Radhika. Radhe, they only see her song. <coughs> and when you see the only Radhika, then also 
ब्लैक स्नेक विल बी कमिंग इन बॉडी दी कांसेस स्कीप इन साइड नॉट इन द बैग is also when you come out to the bodily consciousness is also like a dying from your spiritual body so intense there you not feel intense like this then krishna radhika is telling that by it to me krishna and i am feeling the separation of krishna and i to me by it that i come in my bodily consciousness i am in bodily consciousness like a biting to snake to me because i leave my spiritual identity my seva my seva closeness with my soul this is bite this is one bite of snake what is better you feel my question you feel that is better or you re- feel of radhika is better you feel yourself that you leave your spiritual body and you feel this this is more high feeling is only come in manjari sarup and in sakhi bhav then you feel that is biting i am in suffering in the separation of krishna <coughs> that krishna is a man and i suffer because he is a separation is giving feeling then you no need a spiritual body identification but when you feel your spiritual body and come in your material body then you feel that snake bite me what you want to practice this who can decide you have to decide yourself understand what i want to explain mm-hmm. say in your words you are explaining over the hip that there are two kinds of feelings of separation one is in one path that we know that we have been taught also that to feel separation from krishna shrimati radhika feels separation from krishna and when she speaks about the black snake that has bitten her that is the the feeling of burning separation also the sakis have this mood but actually here because shri raghunath das goswami is our prem prayoga acharya he is giving us example how to feel separation from swami from radhika service he is living in his perfected spiritual body as rati manjari he is serving her there she he is uh, giving foot leg or whatever he is doing and then when his vision and his internal consciousness stops he feels like he has been bitten also by a black snake of separation but in this case it's not krishna it's a separation of shrimati radhika's personal service and he is dying from this and that's why he is uh, rolling in the dust of radhakunda crying praying again and again to come in this mood of internal service to swami again you see very good better than <laughs> <laughs> i have one question maybe good because you are not working when you know keep in the front i i i feel for us who are not on such a high level of of service internal service you often give this example that also in every day affairs we should see the service good but that's another level right because see the level this is our level this is the in your sadhak they have you have a greed for going in siddha there mm. maybe you can speak about this 
Why? When you want to do service for one hour, mm. then how much you are empty at that time? Twenty-three hours. Yeah, so if I think that I do service... Do this twenty-three hours, what you do? Your service, mm. not Krishna's service, not God's service, not Radha's service, my service, my project, my workshop, <coughs> my business, bogus. Mm. It will never work. Like this we cannot transform into the... Prabhupada, somebody asked, oh, how much to chant? He said, minimum sixty-four rounds. Some devotee come, he said, too much. Then said, minimum sixty rounds. What? Sixteen rounds, sixteen rounds. Why? Because we have no need for that. It's okay, maintain it. You whole life you chant sixteen rounds, nothing you will achieve without sixty-four rounds. Keep it. Like you chant ten times some mantra in finger, <coughs> nothing you will achieve without chanting that mantra in japa. Nothing will achieve. And when you will chant in japa, you will get the realizations. You maintain your goodness, that's it. <clears throat> so Prabhupada said, okay, you want to be a goodness? Okay, sixteen round, I will accept. Go on. Time will come, but you have to chant sixty-four round, you have a read for that. This is waiting for your greed that when I want to do that. Similarly, like when you teach us how to use our sadik, sadaka deya, sadak deya, always in the mood of service. In the mood of service, then it all what what you are doing is become service. Twenty-four seven. Are you are cleaning? Are the cleaning is service? DT you keep, picture you keep. This is not your room, but that place I think that, no, this is my room. So you say, okay, atma sukh priti vancha dhare kamna. What is the meaning of this? What you do for yourself is a karma. Krishna sukh priti vancha dhare prerna. You clean only with the for Krishna is your service. And you do for yourself is only for your material wishes. Oh, I have no much time, so only I can give fifteen minutes to clean you and give some water in Tulsi and that's it. Alleluia. That is. Thirty-two hours. What you will do, Baba? For my 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 projects are there, so I have to go. And if you are not project, is all Radharani projects. Why not you make boss to her and do the service? What you are doing, do all service. In the mood. Your mood is a service mood. If you fix that what you are doing is a service, it's a service mood. Hmm? Do and see. In sadhak deha, if you start practicing, without knowing yourself, you will reach to the siddha deha. Hmm? You are doing. What is devotion? All action is a de action is doing. 
and only this actions with the love is a devotion. You add only love in that action is become devotion. Check. And as per duty you do is nothing. Atma Sukhapriti Vancha. I do something for pressure or to show others, bogus. I no want to show anything. This is my. I exchange inside by doing love. Why Prabhupada give who comes first, he has to clean the toilet? Why? Because this is our toilet, very garbage we store it inside. When we will not clean the toilet, my mind will never clean with dirty things. You imagine who clean the toilet, you know how to clean inside also. When you can clean outside, you have an idea. Dirtiest thing you can clean outside, why not you will keep inside dirty things? You have to look in every corner who it is. Huh? You will like to be smell inside? And you want to be living in that smell? You clean all corner, in and out. This is the nature of cleaning. So the the you change only keep for one hour for you, but twenty three hours give for your lover. Lover can give, and and who has no love they cannot give. You no need to say to lover, you give the whole time, twenty-seven, twenty-four-seven. We cannot. Only lover can do. Naturally. And lover is a devotee. Devotee. Lover means their all action is in love. That is devotion. Lovers. Why Prabhupada write twenty-two times? Repeating that relation, 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 any relation. Come on in this. Then will you will know the spiritual relation and material relation. One is deha jnan relation and one is abhideha jnan relation. Deha jnan relation is also important. Because relation, understand, will come by deha jnan relation. Physical body relation, you are not successful. How is spiritual relation you can make success? Impossible. We don't understand relation because we burn out with the relation. And a spiritual life is based on relation. You can see, even Jesus, Jesus said, I am a son and he, you are my father. He never mentioned the name God. Why did he say God? Why not he say? Why he will say God? His father, you say to Prasant to say Sadhu Maharaj, he will say one time, but he will say Papa, because this, he has in this relation from his open eyes he see me like that. <coughs> why he will want to be a farmer? So Jesus said, I, why I will become farmer? He is my papa, Abba. I am his son. What is this relation? 
genetic relation or as divine relation, a spiritual relation. <coughs> that relation works and in no time <coughs> old universe is still living with Jesus because of his love. The friends of Krishna, if they were in relation and they never bothered to calculate that he is a supreme personality of God. He said, become horse, now you lose the game. I will ride you. He said, yes. What to, what to do? I whole time write to others, Krishna thinking, but today you are telling that you will write to me, but what to do in your love I have to become horse. And the friends are riding and beating backside to him. Fast, fast. And Krishna says, Yes, yes, I am going fast. <laughs> Beating with the hands, go fast, go fast, like a horse. You see. You see the Kurukshetra, who is devotee? Krishna is devotee or Arjuna is devotee? Huh? And sitting higher than Krishna. <laughs> How you always tell, he is guiding with his feet. And he is sitting like this, Arjuna. His feet was like this. Yes. <clears throat> and bow was in hand. Now he want to go, then Krishna said, push my right your right feet on back side to me. Then I will understand that I have to go right. I will go. Because he cannot talk, he has to meditate. And when you have to go left, you push from your feet left. And when you want to stop, you in middle you put it. You stop. This way, their love and relation was exchanging because this was the real friendship in between Arjuna and Krishna. And always sitting in the front in the battlefield <coughs> and lower than Arjuna. What is this? Not love? Supreme Lord is sitting down to Arjuna? And one thing more surprising I see, you see in his flag, <coughs> flag was Hanuman flag. He is a Krishna and he is putting the Hanuman flag. When Arjuna bowed the horse, bowed the way, Bow, then the, the Karna horse is going ten feet back. And when the Karna bow the... String the bow? Bow to the um, chariot of the Arjuna, it goes fifteen feet back. Always, Karna always pushing back to more to the Karna is pushing back more to Arjuna chariot. And Arjuna cannot bow, by bow, he cannot push back then more than Karna. And when he is boy, Karna is doing like this, Arjuna says, wow, Karna, very good Karna, you are doing the best, wow. Sitting with Arjuna and glorifying to Karna one time, two times, three times. Then Arjuna said, What you are doing, Baba? You are sitting with me and talking good about the Karna. Praising him. Praising him? What do, what is going on to you? You are supporting and you are discouraging me. 
Hmm. I'm also pushing 15 feet back. He say he puts five feet more than you. And same if you do, you know, I'm sitting in this horse and the Hanuman is sitting. Flag is Hanuman's flag. I put this, very powerful. And he put one feet back than you, is too powerful. I'm sitting with you, man. And after that he is putting back to me. My weight is Triloki weight. So, so powerful chariot was there of Karana. Karana is pushing back. Arjuna chariot was very heavy by the mercy of Krishna and Hanuman flag, white was Hanuman flag, because Hanuman is also in bhakta, top of the bhakta of Ramchandra. So, that's the point. I didn't get it, Guru Why Krishna was praising Karna in front of Arjuna? Because by sitting Krishna in the chariot and the flag of Hanuman is more powerful because he is the highest devotee of the Rama, it's impossible to push one feet back. And he is putting the same, a one, two feet more deeper. So Krishna was really impressed. Impressed with Karna. You have so powerful, very good person. You can do this. You can push me back because I am sitting here and Ram Hanuman is sitting on the chariot, top of the chariot. After that you can push me. Amazing. Nobody can push me and you can push me. So it must be love and devotion. That's the point. So his Hanuman power was very high because his devotion. He put the flag of devotion, lover, the top lover, Anuman. The example, if you want to be devotee, you have to be like Anuman. You know the story of Anuman? So devoted he was. He opened his heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and he is Shiva, no? Huh? Shiva is coming as Hanuman. Yeah. Because it's... Hanuman is Shiva. Shiva is Hanuman. There is no difference. One was the Raman Guru and one is the... He is showing to Raman that you forget yourself, I am a devotee, you also become Ram devotee. But he don't understand. Demoniac mind. <coughs> Deep subject. We are talking on the sadhak deha to sit there. If you want to be go, want to have a desire to go in sit there. You have to increase your devotional practice. By devotional practice, words of Prabhupada, you can achieve your sadhu. Read this, words of words, bring the book. Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Old one. Yeah, old one, not new one. Red one. Ah, give. Read. Read Krishna Kirtan, page 4. Introduction. 
after five relations. Hmm. Arjuna was in a relationship with the Lord as a friend. Hmm. Of course, there is a gulf of difference between... Gulf of difference. Difference very deep. One is the physical relation, one is the spiritual relation. Physical relation <coughs> will not permanent, <coughs> but your inner relation, eternal relation will be always permanent. Of course, there is a gulf of a difference between the, this friendship and the friendship found in the material world. The material world. Yeah. This is transcendental <coughs> friendship which cannot be had by everyone. Mm -hmm. Of course, everyone has a particular <coughs> relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. Devotional. Why? The, the relation, as per your relation, you will become devoted 24-7. And revoked. Mm. <coughs> when this devotional service will not for one hour, 24-7, then you can revoke. Go on. But in the present status of our life, we have, only, we have not only forgotten the Supreme Lord, but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. Yeah. <coughs> Go on. Every living being, out of many, many billions of trillions of living beings, has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. This is called Svarupa. You see, that calls a relation, gave the Svarupa. Jesus' relation gave his Svarupa. By the process of devotional service, one can revive the Svarupa, and that stage is called. Devotional practice. If I have no devotional practice, all the time, I am not practicing devotion. We think that one hour for God, one twenty-three hours for me, never divide. Go on. And that stage is called Svarupa Siddhi, perfection of one's constitutional position. That is the goal of our spiritual life. The position become perfect. That to understand. And when the moment will come to understand, our life becomes successful. Write this verse in golden verse. This all words of golden. Bani in Hindi this. Understand? Uh, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. We are talking about the spiritual body is a Sarup. Without devotional practice, we never can. Do what you like to do, but all has to be in devotion. Who said not to do? but all for devotion. And you go to toilet or not every day? Why you go to toilet? You go to toilet to fresh and take bath and fresh for what? Why? For doing bhajan, to take darshan, to meditate on him. If not, then no need to go bath. I have to do it because I want to go fresh later. So all is a devotional practice. <laughs> Why you clean the teeth? Because I have to eat prasadam now. So I, have, I need my 
stretch, feet, and mouth to it. <laughs> Why I sleep? I sleep to be a fresh in the service for you. Always, what I do, I do for you is twenty-four-seven. Anna, say me. Abhideya. That is Abhideya. No more self-interest, Guru. No. And if you put your interest, then it's not devotion. That's the simple thing. Devotion, why you make so complicated? Is there something in India very hard? <coughs> Relation make you mad. If you are ready to become mad, then enter in devotion. And this madness will only come when it will desire for twenty-four seven. You cannot be a normal person. But sorry, nobody is normal. All are mad. <laughs> Depends for what? Depends for what? One is mad in love and one is mad for a false ego. But all are mad. One is mad for fighting and one is mad to only thinking negativeness. All are mad. Who is normal? Only when you understand your spiritual identity, you become normal. In the pleasure-giving story. Pleasure-giving potency. Prabhupada's right. His words cannot be a... Wrong. Wrong. I cannot, I cannot pronounce this word. Somebody say, I don't understand Prabhupada's right about the woman's or Unintelligence or less intelligence. He is not right, good. But <laughs> woman means you understand. Woman is mentioning who is not protected, they are woman. That woman. The gods is protected by the father and mother. Your girl is not protected. Your girl, Saint Jarma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is protecting? Mother. Mother. That is it. Now Durga, you will leave your protection, then he has to go in the protection of husband. And if he not go in protection of you and not to husband, that our woman. Unprotected. Unprotected. They are women, they are less intelligent. I'm really sad that I lost the paper where I write in which verse is written because he wrote it in another form like you. you I can show you either in a book, they will search you okay. and I will explain you. Woman for the Indian's mind, that who is very independent, they don't want to be under protection of anyone. It's a cultural But why a woman needs this protection and not a man's? Are they because try they to need... understand? Woman, why you want to be a woman? I am a woman. Are so... a woman is not you are a girl and you become mother or you will be protected by the asthma. Protect you. Protection means what? Nobody see you bad eyes. You not to become independent. Independent can... What is the nature of the pros? Prosuit. They are very independent. 
they are also women or not? Yes. <coughs> they are not keeping any protection. Maybe twenty men are coming, but she deny any protection. Sorry to say, understand his meaning, feeling. Who not want to be in the protection, they are women. We say, in Indian culture, there are Kanya Sumari, the ladies, lower than protection with the mother and father, they are Kanya Kumari. They worship at the Navdurga time. Right or not? You see that yes. in India? Huh? Yes. They, they respect and pray. Oh. And all the rape women here in India, there are a lot of uh, married women, so... Do not go in argument. Try to understand. The categories of the... categories of mothers, after that, who is in motherly stage, they are also very respectful. But respectful means care, supervision of others. Don't understand. I got right. <laughs> <laughs> what I can say. You say to Prabhupada, so I am telling Prabhupada meaning of telling. Who is unprotected, they are nowhere. You mentioned meaning of that woman. Protection is important. Check. I don't say. I, I, you don't, have, I, didn't, huh? I didn't understand. So you say a uh, real uh, woman does not need protection? Is this what you say? No, he said they need protection. No. Er hat erklärt, dass es einen Vers gibt in der Bhagavad Gita, in der Erläuterung schreibt Schiller Prabhupada, dass Frauen weniger intelligent sind. sind. Und äh, Mataji hat sich darüber bisschen. Less intelligent, genau. he said. Weniger intelligent. Und, und Saduma hat jetzt erklärt, dass wenn man äh, das analysiert, wie Prabhupada das meint, in welchem Kontext, weil es hat einen Kontext, Bedeutet das, wenn man Frau sagt, das ist eine, eine Frau, die nicht im Schutz von irgendeiner Familie oder irgendeinem Mann oder einem Bruder oder so steht und die dadurch nicht beschützt ist und dass das in diesem Kontext so zu verstehen ist, aus einem kulturell traditionellen indischen Hintergrund. Also die nicht beschützte Frau genau. ist nicht so intelligent. Genau, wie andere, die, die äh, sich in einer, in einer Beschützung befinden und diese auch annehmen. Das wollte er damit ausdrücken und nicht, dass Frauen in Allgemeinen weniger intelligent sind. Also dass es keine Verallgemeinerung ist, sondern das bezieht sich auf diese spezifische Dinge, zum Beispiel eine Prostituierte, ne, die sich eben diesem äh, hingibt und keinen Schutz annimmt, die ist im Grunde weniger intelligent. Das ist... Der less intelligent. Das bezieht sich nicht. Nee, auf alle Frauen. If we say a woman is more beautiful, there is no problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There is no problem. Everybody can accept it. No, But, uh, no, no. This one is, is making no, a No, woman is very beautiful. But he make the category, the women are less intelligent, they want to be independent. Yes. To understand. He never said the mother are less intelligent or young girls are less intelligent, he said the women who want to be independent, they are less intelligent. They don't understand. Yeah. But it means that men who want to be independent is also less intelligent. Huh? Yes. His man is not... not yes, he's all also. It's a, it's a human who is not in... Uh, so it, it, it should pointing towards relationships again. Like yes. The one who doesn't accept relationships, Mm. It's less intelligent. Yes, less intelligent. Mm. So intelligent, you see. <laughs> less intelligent. 
बिकॉज दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू लूज देयर इंडिपेंडेंस then your independence is gone <laughs> you have to work in devotion in loving behavior and 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 there are always exception for example in the case of what was his name he was a taku he went to prostitute and he the prostitute turned to be his uh, his guru right and you one can be a guru akanda mangala karam akanda mangala ga guru means who show you the way is the actual way i think uh, i think uh, also with the prostitute you can have a relation in that moment no you go very deep you go very loving this is also <coughs> you care yes yeah, yes yeah, why is not so and uh, they have also all feeling they are shakti durga i just want to say that durga this... and and ma shakti of anapurna and lakshmi woman as a shakti you show me many powerful <coughs> saraswati the female as a saraswati powerful all the dev- devtas you see in the women's all the females all they are females nobody is male hmm ha huh? show me the male all are females we worship to radhika she is also female it's a right <coughs> hmm. how somebody can worship when they, they are they are intelligent but less intelligent than those who want to be more intelligent they can do saraswati the goddess of giving education is a female lakshmi is a female who give the all well to you you pray to lakshmi but he is always living with narayan and the less intelligent they are also you can mention woman in english there is no other word but in hindi daughter mother you see mata ji mata ji why you say here mata ji any woman you see there is a mata ji why this is woman why not you say woman here mother you say relation you cannot say a hey, hey, aurat oh or oh, woman ha huh? just microphone microphone oh oh on we cannot say you have to say mata ji mata ji bahan ji you cannot say without any without feeling you have to say mata ji senior and young bahan ji not with name right or not you you are coming here you see or not Ma, they say also ma. Mm-hmm. That is very. Ma. Dear. Day ma. Yes. And who is not want to be in this category? They are less intelligent. <laughs> this is the thing. Of course. Is is it also the identification when someone identifies with the material body? Then this is like less intelligent. and if if a so right. sitting in a female body identifies with being so that person is not less intelligent right very more i 
What is less intelligent? I am living in my material body. Less intelligent. And all male is practiced practice to become female. But they are highly intelligent to do this. That is the spiritual body. Right? Yes, in our tradition all want to become female. Yeah. <laughs> you have to explain to this baby. <laughs> That's no understanding. Male cannot do more things, but the one female can create many, many good things. Like a, you can create all your children devotees or not devotees. It's all responsibility of mother. In your tradition, all the mothers were giving diksha also to their sons, right? Yes. In Janabha Mahasana, the mother were also the gurus, the first gurus. Also. All are gurus. My grandmother is my uh, siksha guru. Mm -hmm. She started teaching. And for daughters? Hmm? For daughters? Also? Yes. And you can be a guru. Only the realization point is that mothers are more important. Hmm. Why it was in the in the past in the lines that was woman after woman in the line? What was like that that woman was in the line? Not no man, no like man, woman, man, woman, but all my woman's woman's woman. Why why was the woman was so important? Actually, there is man also. Man also. Like I am the man. My Gurudev was male. Other was male. And in Nityanand Bansa, my, my Pran Gopal Goswami was male. Others also many males. But in the beginning, it is start from Janava Magoswami. So Janava Madhuswami is the pioneer to start this way. And the, their husband left body early, so they took the responsibility to help. Like this. For giving diksha you need the realizations. Without realizations, in the tradition, nobody initiates. It means that this woman was realized and the man yeah, not yeah. in the time? Yeah. Yes. I think after Nityananda went on this planet, then Janavabha was the most realized. Most. Oh. Mm. Thakur went to Chanava. He yeah. was inspired by Narayana Thakur. All they were living under the center. Srinivas, Srinivas, and the other one. Under the there. center of Chanava. Shavananda Pandit. Oh. But now Guru they have very little female. Yeah. I mean in Shrivanath I only see men. The Suniti speaking, but otherwise, no. There's no man, female, or man. Les Bhagavati sometimes used to give also class. And I know Damodar Priya is giving class in Amtoya, Golokanda. But it's very rare that the ladies. Golokanda? Yeah, yeah. Damodar Priya is giving classes. But no, she's been, been asking about female. In India, if somebody you see, 75% female you will see and 10%, 15% is the male. Achha. 
for what? For Guru? For giving Hari Katha? Or for devotee? No, listening. Lis- listening. They are devotional very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't know, they care more than than male. They are very much shakti. One male can earn many money and the one lady come in home, then you see the family and, and the house and the money start growing. Then you see the result of money, what is happening. They know how to handle the things. Is a God gifted. Saraswati and Lakshmi and Shakti, three things exist in the one female. Saraswati means all education. Sometimes the man is not taking advice from the female, he will never success. Because Saraswati is sitting inside. Lakshmi comes any man can take care of the wife, always Lakshmi will be fulfilled. And Shakti, and when she becomes angry, it will, you will see Kali, Durga, all in the, inside them. <laughs> I'm only seeing Durga, I didn't see Lakshmi himself. Sorry. Because you, you never, never never see like this, I see. <laughs> All this Shakti are inside. What is Shakti of men? Show me. They are only workers if they are not devoted. Nothing more. But nowadays... They want to become independent. The men want to be independent, but they are marginal. Independent, like I am the part and parcel of Krishna, I want to become Krishna. This is the foolish nature of the male consciousness. I am the enjoyer of it. happens in both bodies. Huh? It happens both in both bodies. Both bodies, body, body, right? Like you see, you can understand this. Like Who opened this with it, Prabhupada? Both the bodies, she said, that not in male body, but major you can see in male body. But both bodies have very independentness is a nature gifted by Lord inside us because he is independent and his nature comes to me. Because I know take shelter of the pleasure giving potential. This nature will never go, never go, never go, never go. Understand? Marginal and independency will never go. Like Tata. Huh? Like Tata. <laughs> Without taking shelter of pleasure. Radhe Radhe Jai Sri Radhe.